Probably thought this was just spitting, but it isn't though, it's different bro. Probably expect me to throw a bunch of really old groundskeeper willy jokes. Probably fucking will, you know. <laughs> Cause stand up is easy as fuck. You just have to stand up and talk in front of some lads and hope the fuck that they laugh. I asked my family, they said I could do that shit by the time I turned fucking one and a half. And it's Irish versus Scottish. I guess those are kind of similar. We've got loads of redheads, drinking culture, boiling nature. They all seem quite familiar. Yes. We've even got our own language, and I guess you do too, but there's one subtle difference between Ireland and Scotland. That's we hate the Queen even more than you do. Because <laughs> when it comes to the English, you can say you've beef with them too. We don't believe it from you. We fought for 800 years to be free of our rule. So when we say it, really, it's true. The UK told you you could leave if you choose, and you turned around and said, no, really, it's cool. <laughs> yes. And you might, yes. you might believe you can spit, but I'm seasoned at this. I will not stress Loch Ness. This beast is a myth. Fuck Scotland, it must really be shit. Its number one tourist attraction doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> and the Scots steal the Irish slang, and I'll tell you why. When we both said yes to this battle, it was an oi for an oi. <laughs> And you're from Glasgow, which means you're a smack or a crack toy. A swimming down Scotland's worst toilet for a five pound rap toy. Every time you boy people back to a party in your gaff like, the drug squad roll up, gloves on, and bagpipes. <laughs> and Glasgow's a city divided, depending which side of the green or the orange you're on, so it must be some sort of connery if you're talking to me about a Scottish bond. But look, don't squirm, I don't care about your allegiance in the old firm. I'm more concerned with how you make that old perm hall firm. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, anytime any promoter says, Taryam, you're on next, no matter how long your set is, they know it's gonna be a short set. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I watched your last performance here. Man, it was promising, but I'm smashing your confidence because your crappy content isn't for a battling audience. And if this Liverpool crowd sees a Scott trying to wing it, you'll get left back in Scotland. That's Andy Robertson. <laughs> and you lack confidence on stage, and that shit's sloppy. Now you're another comedian that's going to die behind bars for putting people to sleep. Bill Cosby. Oh. Oh. Well. quite good, man. I, I liked the bits that I could understand. <laughs> okay, so I told that to be back home, man. I said, I'm going to battle a rapper, and I'm not fucking scared of him. He said, who? I said, some guy called Nugget. Don't worry, you won't have heard of him. <laughs> you fucking fake rapper, you can goggle my dick. You must be given the paddy, because you are taking the mick. <laughs> calling yourself a rapper is like calling that fluff a beard. I mean, yeah, it's technically true, but you're both shit and you both look weird. <laughs> and call yourself an MC, please, man. That's basically a shame. The only MC I see should be at the start of your name, McNugget. Whoa! <laughs> See, I'll chew you up and spit you out, so listen up, Paddy. You're looking like a large meal. Better lay off the Mackies. <laughs> so fat you wouldn't even get felt up off of Popoaki. <laughs> You're literally B.I.G., you notorious fatty. I will clone myself and I will spit roast your sister. Just call me two patties. Can't show that on the internet. Can't show that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nugget. See my dick? You can suck it. And when I go out to my car, you better not blow up it. See, that was a wee bomb joke, but please don't be scared of it. I'm just so excited to call someone else a terrorist. <laughs> You thought you'd fly over here and be some sort of rap hero, but I'll fuck you so hard your arse will look like ground zero. <laughs> I'm not even a rapper, but don't you dare fucking doubt me. I just heard come out ye black and tans and said, did somebody shout me? <laughs> but listen, I'll finish this verse up because I don't want to go long, but just know that my dick and my explosives are going the same place. 
and that is up your bomb. <laughs> Time. I'm scared. <laughs> if you had some good punchlines, some of them are major. You said I should have Mac behind me name, or before me name, like every one of your neighbours. <laughs> Now, listen, I don't give a fuck if this chap can rhyme, because Tarion Boyd still can't decide between his Arab pride and his tart inside. I bet, I bet it's annoying as fuck when you, you want to have a couple of cans, because you're torn between the strict religious practices of your motherland and the strict Scottish traditions of always getting fucking rubber, man. Every time your fingers reach out and touch a can, they get slapped away by the other hand. And I understand. Because me and Tarion have more in common than any man. Because I heard over the centuries many famines ravaged Arab lands. And back in those potato famine days, we were fucking starving, man. And nothing makes people fam a lamb faster than a famine can. What fucking famine, fam? <laughs> and any Irish or, St or any Scottish or Arab stereotype, I'll just assume it's right. You sit at home on Saturdays wondering what to do tonight because your Arab side wants to go on a mission of suicide where your Scottish side is truly tight and just complains about the cost of human life. <laughs> <laughs> and them, them YouTube viewers, they're going to st skip straight past you to the best bits because no one wants to hear from Arab C. Nesbitt. <laughs> that you want to all your little Scottish friends. Stanley is dead, mate. This is where the comic ends. I'll push it off Hadrian's wall, straight into some cliffs. Turn Taryan to a martyr when I put your name in the mix. I knew everything I'd say, you'd say would be shite and hit and miss, so it shows over, Seinfeld. Time to hit the bricks. Ooh. It's a good laugh one. It's not funny. <laughs> Once you get past the head and the beard, we're not so different, me and you. You see, my granddad was actually Irish, and he was a fat prick too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you'd say, man. Yeah, I'm short and I'm Arab. How are you going to diss my culture when you clearly love kebabs? <laughs> yeah, man, you can talk about my man bun, but it won't make me quit. I mean, your man needs something to hold on to when I'm going halal on up cliffs. <laughs> I won't take Miss Nugget to school. Nah, I'll take her to mosque. I say assalamu alaikum when I give her the sauce. <laughs> and after I'm done fucking you up, I'll give your mum a phone, have that bitch bending over backwards to kiss my blarney stones. <laughs> see, man, I'm going to be honest. Me and the boys, we had your mum in an interracial gang band. I'm sorry to tell you, I just had to let you know, man. See, she loves when we come over and we give her that brown dick and we give her that, oh, I fucked it. Ah! <laughs> we gotta get her in that. We gotta get her. She loves when I come over and we. Ah, you bastard. Okay. <laughs> we're skipping it? No, we did it, we did it one more time. Oh, we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Okay. So, me and the boys, man. We uh, had <laughs> uh, an, in an interracial uh, gangbang with your mum. And, uh, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, she took it in the arse. And she didn't even make noise. She loves that dark dick. She calls us Mrs. Brown's boys. <laughs> Love that! Love that! But let me be honest, man. Like, what, what age are you? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're like a mid 30s rapper, man. This is my time. Your career's fucked. It's ironic that out of a party and a party, only one of us is about to blow up. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> just not a rapper, eh? I'm just, there's no jokes here, so I, need, I don't know what my notes are. Okay, let's finish strong. Okay, you see, me and Seaburns, I thought it would be on after Connor Burns. I wasn't, it was going to be on later. Imagine it was on before me. Okay. <laughs> see, me and Seaburns, we take turns at schooling all you fat cunts. We came down to Liverpool and we're going to outwrap you. Phone the IRA for some backup. Liam Neeson and black up because you're, 
your best shots have been taken and you still can't outclass us. <laughs> you racists get wasted at your own game. We are a rapture. We came from north of the wall to spit fire on you bastards. And all you can do is pray. And I bet that you wish you did. Because for a change, it's the Catholics 